Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session. I'm sure you found you're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you bountifully in the name of Jesus. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You see, people may try to interfere with God's plans for a person, but their efforts cannot stop what God has already set in motion. I want you to understand that people may try to interfere with God's plans for a person's life, for your life, for someone's life, but their efforts cannot stop what God has already set in motion. They may try to hide you as it was in the case of David. You know, David wasn't informed about what was happening. The Bible says that King uh, um, Prophet Samuel was sent by God to anoint a, a king from the household of Jesse. And David was actually the one, David was actually the one that the Lord had chosen to be the next king. But his family members did not call him. They did not inform him. They never told him to come along. You know, they might try to hide you. They might try to hide information from you. They might disqualify you based on human standards. Yes, I've said three things. They might try to hide you. Maybe they'll say, oh, let's hide her. Let's so, so, so they will not see her. Like the story of Cinderella. Let's hide her so they will not see her. By so doing our efforts, by, 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 by so doing, sorry, we can what the plans of God concerning her life. It, uh, it, 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 they, they might not inform you. Let's not tell her what's going on. Let's not inform her. Let's not tell her about what the boss said. Let's not inform her about the meeting so that she can miss it and then she'll lose the promotion. She'll lose her job. Or let's not tell her that her, her, her boyfriend is, has called. Let's not, you know, people can do things to hide information from you because they understand that if we hide this from this person, it's going to affect their this negatively and they're going to lose it. You know, and people might they might not uh, invite you, like come along with us. They might, they might not, they, they, they might not invite you to come. They might not uh, give you the opportunity, right? Because they are thinking that by so doing, they are going to 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 thwart the plans of God. You see, people can try to, they may try to interfere with 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 with, with God's plans for a person's life, but they their efforts, no matter what they do, cannot stop what God has already set in motion. Isaiah chapter, I, this scripture is amazing. 14 verse 27. Isaiah 14 verse 27. For the Lord of hosts has purposed it. Yes. Isaiah 14 verse 27. It says, for the Lord of hosts has purposed it. And who shall twat it? Who shall annul? Annul means cancel. The Lord of hosts has said it. Who shall cancel it? And his hand is stretched out. Who shall turn it back? The Lord of hosts has said it. Who shall cancel it? His hand is stretched out. Who shall turn it back? The plans of God cannot be annulled. The plan of God cannot be annulled. That which he has purpose in his heart to do for you. You see, it's amazing how the brothers of Joseph, of, 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 of David, sorry, wouldn't even invite him over. It's amazing how his father would not even call him and tell him that something is happening here. You should come. But they were doing all of that, you know? Yes. And sometimes they do that because they think that, no, this one is not qualified. They hide the information from you or they hide you or they disqualify you by their human standards. Mm -hmm. They disqualify you by their own human standards. No, it's not like they are hiding the information. It's not like they are trying to, to, to hide you, but they just think that you are not among the people that this kind of thing can happen to. They measure you, they weigh you, and they disqualify you without even letting God himself try you. The Lord is saying, I should tell this person, I don't know what you're believing God for. I don't know where you're standing in your life, but that which the Lord has said cannot be annulled. That which God has said concerning you cannot be annulled. No matter what they do, their efforts cannot stop what God has set in motion. He says, the Lord has said it. Who can cancel it? Ah. And his hand is stretched out. Who shall turn it back? 
that David is not invited. But at the end of the day, they bring him because he's the one with the calling. He's the one the Lord has chosen. I want you to understand that the one came to you because you are the one that God has chosen. He, he saw billions on, and billions of people on earth and he chose to give you the word. Some of these people think they are more qualified than you are, yet God chose to give you the word. Can you have a little more faith in yourself? If God is choosing to invest this much on you, trust yourself. Your efforts cannot stop what God has set in motion. I pray that this word will bring you strength. This word will bring you uh, uh, um, that is what will build your confidence. That is what will give you confirmation. That is what will give you boldness to move forward into what God has promised you. In the name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. Shalom.